says in verse number 17 that Daniel said to the king, Sir, I don't mean no harm, but you can keep your gifts for yourself. And you can give your rewards to someone else. Translation is this. I will not be bought, controlled, or manipulated because if I allow myself to do so, I become your slave. And if I'm a slave to you, I can't serve God. Daniel, my brothers and my sisters, had lived long enough to understand that God was his source. And that anything and anybody that God used to bless him was simply a resource. Daniel understood from the time that he was a boy, having been transported in exile from Judea to Babylon, he understood he was in the king's palace, not because of the king's power, but because of God's favor. He understood that it was not the king's food that would give him wisdom or strength. He understood that his wisdom, his strength, and his aptitude was God given. So Daniel is used, he is accustomed to trusting God to meet his needs and to orchestrate his life. And so if any reward comes for him or comes to him, it does not come from resources. It does not come from people. It does not come from the king. It comes from God. He says, I have been in this place for well over 70 years and what I've understood is there's nothing that the king can give me that can compare to what God has in store for me so keep your money because if I allow your money to motivate me to do what I do then whatever you give me can be taken away from me I wish that the body of Christ had People who were so spiritually minded uh, that they would say no uh, to what the enemy offers them uh, to understand because nothing uh, can compare to what God uh, will do and I wish we had people in this church uh, I mean the modern day church uh, like the folk who were in the old church uh, who would stand up and declare uh, that can't nobody uh, do me like Jesus uh, can't nobody do me like I wish we had people in the modern day church who would not be blown to and fro by fads and trends and all that kind of stuff just for the sake of being popular with people but I wish we had people who had this commitment I would rather be popular with God and have people hating me than to have people loving me and be on God's bad where are my people who say I would rather have Jesus uh, than silver or gold I'd rather have Jesus and houses of land uh, and when you realize uh, that you have a gift uh, that, is, that does not have an expiration date uh, you cannot be moved manipulated uh, you cannot be controlled uh, by the whims of anybody uh, who is not on the same page uh, and in alignment with the will of God for your life uh, come here for a minute Paul help me to preach it Paul was preaching and a man by the name of Simon who is a sorcerer he said to them I'll give y'all money if y'all give me the power that y'all have to cast out devils and he turned around and said to him your money perish with you